time for another video and um, this one is on my hair. So I am growing out a pixie cut. Um, I was going to grow it out anyway but uh, it seems that um, Covid has decided that I'm definitely doing it so it, I'll see it as a sign. Um, so it's grown out this much so far, you probably you can see in my other videos how much it's grown. Um, my beautiful daughter has been colouring in some little foils for me so that I don't have massive roots but it's been a couple of weeks so I've got a slight rootage at the moment so it's proof that it's growing. Um, I'm kind of into a, um, a bob-ish, it's getting there. Um, but as you can see, I can't go to the hairdressers and usually people when they grow out their pixies, they have this bit all chopped back so it would go into this kind of a style. Um, I didn't want to do that in the first place and as I said, Covid have made sure that I haven't ended up doing that. I could do it for myself, I'd probably make a right mess. So I'm going to show you how to grow it out with this bit which I couldn't find any videos on YouTube on how to grow it out without getting rid of the mullet, they call it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to hide it and what I do every day for my hair for work and normal life and shopping and all the rest of it. So the first one I would do if I'm being lazy is keeping it down like this and I would literally just grab a brush. I love my bamboo brush. Just give it a quick brush at the back there. Leave this bit out and take back, I think, about that much. Put one side. Oh. And just bring that together. And you can either make that into little ponytails, so I would use um, one of these little things, make a ponytail at the back here, like so. Or, which is my preferred one now, is a clip like this. So this is a smaller version than the, the bigger clips you can get because obviously I haven't got a lot of hair there. So what I do, try and hold that, is I grab all the hair together like that, twist it over itself, and then bring some of this hair from over here, over that, and then I've got the little clip. Some of this falls out, I just bobby pin it in or I try and get it into this way. Okay. Obviously I can't see what I'm doing, but that's roughly what I do. So that one really I think it looks quite nice, tidy for work. It's got the clip at the back, and there we have it. Okay, the next one I do is another lazy one. So because I've had that tied up in that clip, I had it done yesterday, this is curled. But if that was straight, because my hair is usually focused straight, I would literally just push that bit back, grab one of these. And wear that. So it doesn't look so mullety. Again, that bit wouldn't be curling, so it would all look straight. In the back, it doesn't look so bad either. Also with this, you can just tie that again, or do the clip again. Put those bits up, bobby pins. So that's another one. Um, what else have I got? Sometimes I do a half up one, so I have like a clip. You can also use the other clips that I had before, or I've got um, a nice one of these as well. Accessories are your friend while growing out your hair. So I just take half of this, and maybe that one, just shove it in. Let me just keep that tucked. And that looks quite good too. Okay, right, so my favourite one to do, because it has such fine hair, it gets quite um, oily quite quickly. So my favourite thing to do is to curl it. So I shall use my clip. Okay, 
that bit out of the way for now. Oh, it's fetching, doesn't it? And do these bits first. So I don't put anything on before I curl it. I always put mousse on afterwards. I don't know why, but it just seems to last longer in my hair if I do it that way. Well, I've literally just been doing some really rough curls. Messy. Rough. And I just pull them down a little bit so they don't stick out. But doing this helps me to get my hair to last longer in between washes, which is much better for the condition of it, even though it's damaging putting heat on it. I think it kind of counteracts the damage of always washing it. I will speed up the next bit of the video to show you that I'm doing them. Super Drugs own brand stuff is cruelty free. Don't need to go buy anything really expensive. Can you just check the back, see if there's any that I've missed? Um, just this little section here. Yeah. So don't forget to rape your daughter or your husband or your... Can you shut the door please? Thank you. Right, so that's all done. Now we put on some more mousse. This will calm down. <laughs> so yeah, in about an hour, this will calm down and it won't look so boof. So it'll look a lot nicer. Though I quite like it like this. Um, but that's like faded in the back a bit so it doesn't look so mullety. And again, you've got loads of hairstyles with this one, so you can put that in. Looks really cute. And I also like to wear this one. Actually, I might take a curl out. Yeah, it just takes a pin these out of the way or you can pin them up. Just gives you a bit more volume. And again, you can take this 
step back Use your clips I really like the messy look There we go And this, when I curl my hair, so it looks quite ooh at the moment <laughs> But it will calm down in the next couple of hours um, and I just like this because when I've done this, with it'll last about two, three days, which is great because when I have just straight poke straight hair, I have to wash it all the time, and it becomes you get very focused on. Um, oh, my hair looks like this, and I'm constantly having to do it. So when I just curl it, it just makes it a lot easier for me. And like I can just tie it up at the back as well with a nice scrunchie into a sort of bun thing. Yeah, so, here you go. Hopefully that's helped you if you are going through the same situation I am going through at this present moment uh, and growing out your hair and keeping it looking cute and it's all about how you feel isn't it so maybe you don't like curls that's fine but if you do and this helps give it a thumbs up thank you bye